The coronavirus pandemic has been stressful, stressful for all of us. And to cope, a lot of people might be turning to their vices. And that can really be a slippery slope at any time, but especially now during this pandemic. We're joined this morning by Ted Hartwell from the Nevada Council on Problem Gambling to talk with us about this issue, about the things that you're seeing uh, here on the ground floor across the valley. Ted, thanks again for, for joining us this morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So uh, well, you and I have talked before about the uh, effect on, of this pandemic on anyone really with an addictive uh, personality. What are you seeing uh, in the community from people that are struggling with this on a day-to-day -day basis? Well, those stressors that just about all of us have been subjected to during this time, uh, isolation, disconnection from friends and family, uh, um, depression, uh, loss, whether that be the loss of a loved one or loss of financial security, which many of us have experienced. These are all risk factors for uh, developing a gambling disorder or any type of addictive disorder. Specific to issues of gambling, what uh, is unique about that particular kind of, um, of addiction during a pandemic um, now that the casinos are back open in the valley? So again, as, as properties begin to open up, we want to sure that individuals um, get the message that they need to uh, check themselves, make sure that uh, if they choose to gamble, that they're gambling for the right reasons. The last thing we want to see people do is uh, to uh, gamble uh, simply to escape worry or trouble or to, to gamble in an effort to try and recoup financial losses they may have experienced during the pandemic. These can both be uh, warning signs. And, and for those who are involved in counseling, what have been the challenges for you perhaps of trying to uh, treat and help people who struggle with these, um, these personalities, these addictive uh, qualities, um, when you can't actually see them face to face, when you can't have meetings, you can't necessarily have counseling sessions one on one? Sure, so telehealth has become very important during this time, uh, really for uh, both mental and physical health uh, check-ins, and that's certainly true uh, for addictive disorders. Again, people who are already in recovery, uh, experiencing the isolation and loss that I already mentioned uh, can be risk factors for relapse. So the importance of being able to connect with both uh, personal counselors and, and just about everyone has come up to speed, I think, uh, with telehealth. And that includes the uh, self-help groups like 12-step programs. A lot of those have uh, gone online on, and are accessible during this time. And, and how much demand are you seeing for people here in Las Vegas that need this kind of treatment right now? Well, uh, quite a bit. Uh, again, uh, being disconnected from folks uh, and the isolation are, are very strong risk factors. And so people have uh, turned to uh, online resources in this time. Uh, we've seen a big uptick in the use of uh, online uh, gambling sites and gaming sites as well as an increase in activities such as day trading, including by first time users as well. And so that's uh, another concern that we like to keep uh, our eye on. Just very quickly, we don't have a whole lot of time here, Ted, but just some signs to watch out for and how people can get help if they need it. So uh, again, uh, trying to use uh, gambling uh, to escape worry or trouble, uh, trying to recoup financial losses instead of just uh, going for uh, entertainment, um, certainly uh, depression, again, uh, feelings of uh, of isolation, disconnection, and uh, people can reach out to uh, the Nevada Council through our website at whenthefunstops.org or through the Problem Gamblers uh, helpline at 1-800-522-4700 if they need immediate assistance. Well, Ted, thank you very much. We'll put those websites on our website as well and so people can get the help that they need. Thank you very much for joining us this morning, Ted. Appreciate it. Thank you so much.